Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our third lesson on a given form 3 mathematics topic called approximations and errors. So we are looking at our third example which is a past case equation tested in 205, paper 1, question number 9. It reads that the base and perpendicular height of a triangle measured to the nearest centimeter are 6 centimeters and 4 centimeters respectively. Find part A of the question the absolute error in calculating the area of the triangle. Now, in order for us to get the absolute error in calculating the area, we'll first of all start by getting the absolute error, uh, the absolute uh, error in the given dimensions. Uh, so the given dimensions, of course, are the base of that particular uh, triangle and the perpendicular height uh, of that particular uh, given triangle. Now, because the base is 6 centimeters, which is a whole number, similarly the height is also uh, 4 centimeters, which is also a whole number, we said that to get the uh, absolute error uh, for whole numbers, you simply take a half of 1. So this will give us a 0 0.5. Therefore, we can get the limits within which uh, the base and also uh, the height of this particular triangle uh, exists. Now, the actual base is um, 6 centimeters. So that means the maximum possible, uh, uh, that is base of this particular triangle, you'll simply take 6, then you add the absolute error, which of course is 0 0.5. Then to get the minimum possible uh, base, you simply take 6, then you subtract the absolute error, which is 0 0.5. Therefore, the limits within which our base uh, and of course the height exists will be uh, 6 plus 0 0.5. This will give us 6.5. Therefore, this is the, the maximum possible base. Then uh, 6 minus 0 0.5 will get 5.5. Uh, Therefore, these are the limits within which our base exists. Similarly, um, our height, uh, which was 4 centimeters, will exist within the limits of 4 plus 0 0.5. So this will give us uh, 4.5. Then, of course, 4 minus 0 0.5, this will give us a 3.5. Therefore, uh, for us to get the uh, absolute error in calculating the area, we'll start by getting the maximum possible uh, area. Therefore, I'll simply call it A max. So the maximum possible area of this particular triangle will be given by a half base times height. So, of course, we'll use uh, the maximum uh, possible uh, base. Then you also multiply with uh, the maximum uh, possible height in order for us to get the uh, maximum possible uh, area so this will be equal to a half uh, then of course the maximum uh, possible uh, base of course will be given by 6.5 so a half of 6.5 then multiplied by the maximum possible height will be 4.5 so multiplied by uh, 4.5 if you feed uh, these on your calculator uh, you are going to get a uh, 14 0.625 so this will give us a maximum possible uh, area of 14.625 of course square uh, centimeters then after that we'll also get the minimum uh, possible uh, area of this particular uh, triangle so the minimum possible area denoted by a mean uh, this will be given by a half base times height which is a half uh, multiplied by so we'll use the minimum a uh, possible a uh, base then you also multiply with uh, the minimum a uh, possible uh, height of this particular triangle so this will be given by a half uh, multiplied by the minimum possible base will be 5.5 uh, centimeters then of course multiplied by the minimum possible height is uh, 3.5 so if you feed this on your calculator, a half multiplied by 5.5 times 3.5, uh, you're going to get 9 point. So this will be 9 uh, point uh, 6 to uh, 5. Therefore, for us to get the uh, absolute error in the area, so the absolute, uh, the absolute uh, error, absolute error in the area of the triangle, uh, in the area of this particular triangle, uh, will be given by so to get the absolute error in the area you simply take a half of uh, the maximum possible uh, area then you less uh, the minimum uh, possible uh, area 
so this will be equal to a half uh, then of course into the maximum possible uh, area we had already computed it as 14.625 so this is 14.625 then the minimum possible area was a uh, nine of course uh, 9.625 so this is minus 9.625 square centimeters so this will give us 14.625 minus 9.625 that will give us 5 then of course a half of 5 uh, so a half multiplied by 5 so this will give us uh, 2.5 so this will be 2.5 as the uh, absolute error in the area of this particular uh, triangle so we've answered a uh, part a of the question then uh, we'll move to part b uh, of the question now part b wants us to find the percentage error in uh, the area of this particular uh, triangle so of course to get the percentage error so percentage error uh, percentage error in the area uh, in the area of this particular triangle will simply take the uh, absolute error in the area the absolute uh, error in the area uh, error in the area of the triangle then uh, we divide by uh, the actual area of this particular triangle so divided by the actual uh, actual uh, area of the triangle then multiplied by a hundred percent so from this particular formula we already have the absolute error in the area what we need to find is the actual uh, area of this particular uh, triangle so actual area uh, actual uh, area of the triangle of course it was a right angle triangle so this will be a half base multiplied by height so this will be given by uh, a half multiplied by uh, the actual base of the triangle was uh, six centimeters then multiplied by the actual height was actually uh, four uh, centimeters therefore the actual area of this particular triangle uh, a half of uh, six that will be three three by four will get 12 uh, square centimeters therefore uh, the percentage error in the area so the percentage error uh, percentage error in the area in the area of the triangle of the triangle uh, will be given by the following so we'll take the absolute error uh, in the area of the triangle which we got as 2.5 so this will be 2.5 uh, then divided by uh, the actual area of the triangle which we are getting as 12 uh, square centimeter then of course multiplied by a uh, hundred percent so if you feed this on your calculator you're going to get a uh, 20 whole number a uh, five over a uh, six percent remember questions involving uh, getting percentage error it's advised where possible you can even leave your answer in a fraction form uh, due to the fact that fractions are usually exact answers that is they are not approximated however if the question gives you instructions to approximate the answer then you can give us the final answer in an approximated form for example in part b we are told to find the percentage error in the area giving our answer correct to one decimal uh, place so this to one decimal place will actually give us 20.8 uh, percent so this will be 20.8 uh, percent so this will be the percentage error in the area of the triangle expressed to one decimal uh, point. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.